Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. So since the 13th of August, GitHub now requires users to sign in using a token instead of a password. And if you're like me and forgot to do this, you will have come across a 403 error like this one here when trying to push updates to your repositories. So in today's video, I'll show you how to resolve this issue. First thing you'll need to do is generate the token. So in my GitHub here, I'll head over to my settings and scroll all the way down to developer settings and then click on personal access tokens and then here you generate your new token uh, sign in with your password if it requires a password and then give your token a name a test token and then give it an expiration date say 30 days for this one and then you can assign uh, scopes to your token as well. Then go ahead and generate token. So go ahead and copy the token that you get. Uh, the next thing you'll need to do is in your terminal, head over to your uh, repository or CD into your project directory. And then once you've CD'd into your repository or your directory here, uh, go ahead and run this command here. So it will be git set, uh, sorry, git remote set URL origin, and then you have this unique link here. So it is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash, and then in place of user, you need to put your username, and then in place of password here, that's where your token goes. And then same here where we have user here as well, uh, put your username and then repo, uh, this will be the name of our repository. So I'll go ahead and paste in all those values. So let me copy my token. Then that will go on my password section here. So I'll paste that in. And then for user here, I'll also change that to my username. Then I'll change it here as well. And then here where it says repo, replace that with the name of your project. So I'll go back to my repository and get the name of my project here, which is awesome project. So I'll just copy that then replace repo with the name of my project, which is awesome project. Then you can click enter and then you should be able to push your changes now. And there you go.